Hello and welcome back to another Keep Moving with Emily. I'm Emily, your depth fitness trainer, helping you keep moving. Are you ready for a full body workout? We're gonna work strength, we're gonna work cardio, we're gonna work core in about an hour. We're gonna be doing a 60 second on, 20 second off kind of interval. So if you're ready, we're gonna be doing this warm up on the screen along with this body scan. So find yourself to a chair, grab those weights, maybe a TheraBand, and let's keep moving. All right, friends, let's get started with our dynamic warm up along with our body scan. You're going to see these things written up on the screen. This body scan is just a great way for you to check in with your body, see how you're feeling today. You know, every day is different from whether how we're feeling physically, mentally, or emotionally. So, this is a great way to check in. And hopefully, by the end of the workout, your mood will improve. Maybe your cognitive, like, clarity will improve, strength will improve, maybe tightness in our muscles. So, wherever you're at, roll those shoulders down and back. Take a big breath in big breath out one more big breath in and I just kind of want you to check in with how's your mood how are you coming with your mood how's your fatigue do we have any muscle aches or tightness in those muscles maybe we're having some balance issues today however you're coming today let that inform you on how you move whether that's giving yourself permission to do this totally seated or maybe if we're feeling more energized or we have you know better strength or balance today maybe we try things standing Good. Let's take one more big breath in, set that intention of why you're here today, whether that's just to get your body moving or step away from the chaos of life just for a little bit. Awesome. All right, let's get started with that warm up. Let's look from right to left. Warming up the neck, we're gonna warm up from our head to our toes. Nice. Nice slow and controlled movements. Check in with your posture. Are we sitting up nice and tall? Good, looking over that shoulder. And then the other one. Let's do two more. Perfect. Head comes back to center. Let's look up to the sky. Bring your chin to your chest. Unless you get that weird electric zing, then I just want you to look up to the sky and back to center. Nice. Nice stretch in the neck. Just warming up all these muscles, getting our blood pumping. Good. Let's do two more. Up to the sky, chin to chest. One. Last one here. Perfect. We're moving on to arm openers. You can also add in those legs. You can open up your arms nice and wide like you're pushing those walls away and cross it over and switch. I'm tapping my foot to the side from right to left in this seated position. So if that works for you, great. If not, then just do those arms. Opening up the arms nice and big and then crossing them over your chest. Good, this one feels really good in the chest. Woo, getting that blood pumping. Check in with your posture. Are we sitting up nice and tall? Good. Let's do two more. One, two. Keep those arms out nice and wide like you're pushing those walls away. Do tiny, draw tiny circles with those fingertips. We're going forward. You can add in a knee march. Alternating here if you want to incorporate lower body. Good. Perfect. Other direction. Let's do those arm circles in a different direction. Good. Three, two, one. Keep those arms out. My palms are facing towards the floor, and I'm going to rotate my wrists up to the sky and to the ground. Good. So it almost looks like little pancake hands. And then I'm going to bring my arms forward as I'm rotating in those wrists, working the shoulders, and then back to the side. Still sitting up nice and tall. Good. One more time forward as we rotate wrists to the sky, then to the ground. Perfect. Back to the side and shake out those arms. Moving on to a spinal twist, I'm just gonna reach that left arm across the right side of my body and switch. So I'm just doing a nice little twist in my spine as I reach. Good, feels good in the spine and the core. If it's too fast, slow it down. Reach and reach. It's important to, you know, use our brain as we move this body. Reaching that hand across to the opposite side. Perfect. Three, two, and one. Perfect. We're going to move in to those knee hugs. So we're going to grab underneath one of our knees, pull that knee up towards the chest, rotate in the ankle, point and flex the toe. Feels good in the hips. Hold for a couple seconds and then switch. We're not holding for too long. So then I'm going to pull up that other knee, kind of make some ankle circles, point and flex my toe, and switch. We'll do about three or four on each leg. We're still trying to warm up our body, so we don't want to hold for too long. Getting in a little bit of ankle mobility, warming up those hips. Can you give me one more on each side? Pull that knee up, point and flex and toe. Good. 
last one here. Then we'll move on to those hamstring scoots. I love these ones. These ones feel good. All right, place that foot back on the floor. So I'm gonna extend one leg out, heels in the ground, toes pointed up out in front of me, and I'm gonna scoot my hands towards that extended leg and then open up those arms nice and big. Hinging forward, scoop, reach arms up to the sky, and keep going. So I'm getting a nice stretch in my chest and in the back of my leg. I'll do about four or five on each leg. Nice stretch in the hamstring and in that chest. Last one here. Scoop and reach. Good, pull that leg in, switch sides. Extend that leg out in front, heels to the ground, toes pointed up, hinge, scoop, big circle with those arms. Good. Perfect. Nice little hinge, scoop, reach. Last one here. Awesome. Perfect. Pull that leg in. We're going for windmills next. So my legs are a little wider. I'm gonna reach my arms out wide like I'm reaching through those walls. And I'm gonna touch opposite hand to my opposite ankle. So right hand comes to that left ankle. Sit up nice and tall and switch. We're getting in a nice spinal twist. We're working the brain as we touch opposite hand to that opposite leg. You're also working your core as you sit up nice and tall each time. We're not going for speed here. You may see this later. I also call, sometimes call these ice skaters or windmills. Good, let's do one more on each side. Reach it down, sit it up, last one. Perfect, shake it out. We're going for hip openers. So again, we're warming up this lower body. So I'm gonna lift this right knee, tapping the right foot out to the side like I'm stepping over a cone, bring it back to center and switch. So if I have trouble with my lower body, I can always physically lift that leg up and over, just like so, nice is a good way to open up the hips in a different way than maybe what you are used to throughout the day. Good. Still getting that blood pumping. Keep tapping out to the right, then to the left. Nice. Can we do one more on each side? Perfect. And back to the center. All right. Last one here, reach over. So I'm going to place my forearm onto my thigh and that other arm's going to reach up and over my body. Good. These are called reach overs. I'm gonna feel a nice stretch in those obliques and in my lats as I kind of reach it up and over to the side and up and over to the side. Nice. This one feels so good. Plus it's like waking up the body, getting that blood pumping. Good, let's do two more on each side. Here's one, one, last one here, last one here. Awesome job. If you're ready, we're gonna move on to our next set of exercises. All right, grab a tennis ball. We're gonna be doing some hand-eye coordination exercises where we're working our hand-eye coordination, dexterity, a little bit of proprioception. Grab that tennis ball or a ball of your choice um, that you can hold in your hand, and we're gonna start with pancakes. Sitting up nice and tall, tossing the ball from right to left. You can add in a nice little twist in the spine. The goal is to not look at the ball, but that can be tricky. You know, this is a, might be a new exercise for you. So if we have to look and toss from right to left, that's fine. If you drop the ball, it's just part of your workout to go get it. Nice. Let's go to a single hand toss now. So choose a hand, dominant, non-dominant. We're tossing the ball up and catching. Good. Hang on to it. We're almost there. Switch sides, tossing the ball up and down with that other hand. Again, maybe this is your dominant hand, non-dominant hand. If you drop the ball, it's just part of your workout to go get it. Good. I love these exercises because they're super simple and just one piece of equipment. You can do this during commercial breaks. It's great. Great way to work the brain and work the body. All right, and pause. This time we're gonna exchange the ball in front. So open up those arms nice and wide. The ball's kind of facing in front. I'm gonna exchange the ball in front of my chest, switch hands and open up those arms, squeezing the shoulder blades and switch. So. I'm bringing the ball in front of my body, exchanging from right to left or left to right. Good. Arms are extended all the way out. Check in with your posture. You see it nice and tall. Hanging on nice and tight to that ball each time. <coughs> Perfect. Squeeze that ball as you grab a hold of it. Working that dexterity. Good. Last one here. Exchange in front and out wide. Perfect. Rotate this wrist up to the sky. The ball's facing the sky this time. We're gonna exchange up overhead now, good. 
Arms reach up overhead, switch the ball from left to right, right to left. Again, hang on nice and tight to that ball. Check in with the core. Are we sitting up nice and tall? Good. You're gonna feel those arms get nice and warm. You got it. Let's do two more. Up and over the head for one, up and over the head for two, and rest, shake it out. This time we're gonna go behind our back, so scooch on the edge of your chair, bring the ball behind your back, grab it with the other hand, and come out in front. Perfect, so I'm going clockwise right now with the ball, behind my back and then in front, hanging on nice and tight each time to that ball. All right, switch directions. This time I'm going counterclockwise. You might be doing the opposite, that's okay. Here we go. Three, two, and one, nice. All right, my legs are out in front at a 90 degree bend. Feet are pretty close together. I'm gonna hinge forward, bring my chest towards my thighs, bring that ball under my legs, exchange hands, and then sit up nice and tall. Good, so I'm switching the ball from right to left under and on top of those legs. Good. Again, nice and slow. I'm hinging forward, bringing that chest towards my thighs, grabbing the ball under the legs, and sit up nice and tall and switching. Let's go for three more under the legs. Here's three. Two. And one. Nice. Going into figure eight. So get those legs nice and wide. I'm going to bring the ball under my left leg, over my left leg, then under my right, over my right. Making a figure eight. Once you figure it out, you can always speed it up. This one can be a little tricky. It's good for the cognition. Under, over, under, over. Working those obliques. Working that hand-eye coordination still. Let's go for three, two, and one. Nice. Final one here. We're going for those lateral bends. So whatever hand the ball is in, I'm going to reach my arms up over my head. And whatever hand that ball is in, I'm going to pull that elbow to my hip. As that other arm reaches up to the sky, reach it back up and switch hands. Good, nice little lateral bend. Pulling that elbow to that hip and switching hands as the ball comes up over top of the head. Nice, nice little. You'll feel these in your obliques, those side abs, and a nice little stretch as you reach that arm up to the ceiling. Good, let's do one more on each side. Reach and pull, reach and pull, nice. Drop that ball, and if you are ready, we are moving into the meat and potatoes of our workout, strength, and cardio using that 60 seconds on, 20 seconds off interval. If you're ready, grab that equipment, turn your fans on, grab a swig of water, and let's keep moving. All right, friends, here we go. You're gonna see the workout up on the screen. We're gonna start with strength. We have five exercises. We're gonna work for 60 seconds, rest for 20, and move straight into the next one. So I'm gonna give you a quick overview of what we're about to go through. And then I'll quickly show you during those rest breaks. So we're gonna work for 60 seconds, which feels like kind of a long time with a short rest break. So you're gonna really notice your heart rate getting up there. Um, this is a great way to work endurance, muscular endurance and cardiovascular endurance. We're focusing on strength here. We've got upper body and lower body workouts. We're starting with knee raises. So option, this is your high impact option standing. We're gonna do knee raises. Maybe I hang on to a wall or a countertop or a chair but I'm doing knee raises is gonna require some balance, single leg standing. So if this works for you, that's a great option. Seated option, we got knee raises. Lifting those knees, I can physically lift. We're there for a minute, then we rest for 20 seconds. Moving on to that next exercise on the screen, we've got forward to lateral raises. So I'm gonna raise those arms up in front, about eye level, lower, and then come out wide, that lateral raise. So we're going forward, and then to the side. Halfway, I'm gonna make you really challenge your brain and you're gonna go one arm forward and one arm to the side and to switch to like a ladder or an L raise, all right? Then we've got squat taps. So I'm gonna show you the seated option here. I'm tapping my foot to the side, bringing it back to center and switching. Working those inner thighs, outer thighs and glutes. If this doesn't work for you, you can also do a clamshell where you open the knees and close the knees. You can use your hands for resistance or a TheraBand. So that's your seated option. Standing option, again, if I'm hanging onto a countertop walker or something, I'm tapping the foot to the right, back to the center, then left. Switching back and forth. You can also lift a leg if that feels better. Again, this is gonna require some balance. So if that doesn't feel comfortable, comfortable to you, please do it seated. Then we've got our rows to a kickback. We're working our back muscles and our triceps, the back of our arms. I'll show you the standing option, then that seated option. 
We're gonna be in a hinged position. My weights are out in front. I'm gonna pull those elbows up nice and tight, squeezing the shoulder blades and then kicking the weight straight back, working the tricep and stand. So I'm gonna hinge forward, pull those elbows up to my hip pockets, extend arms straight back, lower and stand. So that's your standing option. Again, requires some balance. Seated option, I'm gonna bring my feet kind of out in front of me, weights to my side. Hinging forward, bring that chest towards the thigh. Pull those elbows up, squeezing in the shoulder blades. Kick the weight straight back, lower, and then sit up. So hinge to that row, kick back, all right? And then that final one is a shoulder press. We're gonna either go both arms up overhead, maybe we alternate. You can always just use one weight overhead, um, and we're gonna be there for a minute. So those are our exercises, some upper body and lower body. Seated or standing, you decide. And if you're ready, let's go. All right, we're gonna get started in 10 seconds. You decide that seated or standing option. I'm gonna go for standing for now. We're working for 60 seconds with those knee raises. Let's go. So driving the knee up, working our balance if we are standing. Again, please hang on to something for safety. Nice little knee raises. Keep it up. Seated option, we're here. Drive that knee up or physically lift. Good, we're here for 60 seconds. Core is nice and strong. Make sure we're breathing. Good. Keep it up. You are halfway there. 30 seconds to go. Let's keep moving. Really focus if you're doing this balance work, hanging on to something. If we go slow, that's not a problem because we're really recruiting all those muscles to drive the knee up, to stabilize that leg. Good. You got 10 seconds to go. Perfect, then we're gonna have 20 seconds rest. We're gonna go to those forward and lateral raises. So make sure you grab those weights. Three, two, one. Quick rest, good. I'm gonna grab some light weights. Again, we're going forward, up to those eyes, back to the thighs, and then out to the side. Again, seated or standing, up to you with weights or without, that's okay too. You ready? If we're seated, check in with that core. Roll those shoulders down and back, let's go. Forward raise, then lateral raise. So we're coming with those weights up to those eyes, lower, and then out wide like you're making a T. Nice, slow, and controlled. Again, the slower I go, the more I recruit those muscles. Let's go. Perfect. Again, if you wanna do this standing, standing is an exercise too. Good. Halfway there, you got 30 seconds to go. Perfect. We're working the shoulders. We're working that core. I know, you're like, wait, how? Because the weights are changing up, you know, our weight balance here. Good. Keep breathing. Oh, I forgot to do L raises. You can switch it up to that L raise. One arm comes forward, one arm comes to the side for the last 10 seconds. Work that brain, let's go. Five, four, three, two, and a one. Nice. Drop those weights. We're moving on to squat taps. Again, seated or standing, that's up to you. Or you can do that clamshell where you place a TheraBand under the legs, using that resistance and opening up the knees and closing. You ready? Squat taps starting now. So I'm gonna tap my foot to the side and bring it back to the center, alternating right, left, right, left. So this is a great option for seated. Again, maybe I'm physically lifting my leg. You got it. Or if we're standing, tap to the side, back to the center. Good, or you can lift. I'm showing you lots of different options because everyone's level of ability is different. Maybe some things I feel better raising the leg or just tapping to the side, up to you. I have a slight bend in my knee doing the squat tap. Good. Another great option, you can just kind of shift weight from right to left. Yep. Good. You know, I always say, any movement is good movement. We're focusing on that lower body. Maybe you're doing those clamshells. Keep up the good work. Let's go, 10 seconds left. Then we're gonna work the back. Woo, and those triceps. Four, three, two, and one. Rest, good, grab those weights. Again, we're doing that row, pulling those elbows up. Extend the arms back to that kickback lower and then stand up or sit up nice and tall. Find those weights that will feel good to you. 
Get your body in the right position. Roll those shoulders down and back. Are we ready for that hinge? Let's go. Hinge it forward. Row. Pull those weights up to the hip pocket. Extend the weight straight back, working those triceps. Lower the weights back down and sit up nice and tall. From the side. Here we go. Hinge. Row. Kick it back. Lower. And sit up nice and tall. Nice. I'm going to show you from this standing position. Keep working. Again, we're here for 60 seconds. Resting for 20. I'm going to hinge. Pull those elbows, squeezing the shoulder blades, kick it straight back. You got it. We're working the back as we pull those arms up, extending those weights straight back, working the tricep. And then you're working your glutes and hamstrings as you sit up nice and tall or stand up nice and tall. You got 15 seconds left. Let's go. Last 10. Hang on to it. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Quick rest. Beautiful. We're on to our final exercise, shoulder presses. Again, maybe we're alternating, pushing that weight up right, left. Maybe we just hold one weight and press the weight up to the sky, back to our chest. I'm going to kind of play around with it. You're welcome to follow along with me or do what feels comfortable. Again, seated or standing, one weight or two weights. Let's go. So I'm pressing both weights up to the sky and then bring them back to my shoulders. I'm exhaling as I press them up. Inhale as they come down. Good. Keep it up. I can also do alternating up with the right and then up with the left. Good. You can also have wrists face each other into like a military press or wrists can face out wide. Whatever feels more comfortable to you. I can also do a up with the right, then up with the left, and then both up to the sky and down. So a single, single, double. Love this one. Less than 30 seconds to go. Again, we can do this seated or standing. Whatever feels good to you. Nice. You can also keep going, do one single weight, pressing it up to the sky and back to the chest. You got five seconds to go, and then we're moving on to cardio. Three, two, and one. Woo! Nice job. Drop those weights. You won't need them. We're moving on to cardio where we're going to work that heart rate. So if you're ready, grab a swig of water and let's keep moving. Great work, friends. Okay. Same idea. Working for 60 seconds, resting for 20. We've got five exercises up on the screen. Again, seated or standing, whatever feels comfortable to you. This is going to get our heart rate up there. So this is working our cardiovascular system, lungs, and heart rate. All right. So we're starting with a heel tap with a reach. So I'm going to kind of show you a couple different variations of that. Standing option, I can either sidestep as I reach and pull. Okay, great option here. If sidestepping doesn't feel good, I can also just pivot reach up to the corners, both arms up. Okay, those are your standing options. Seated options, same idea. I can kind of reach a foot out as I reach. Okay. Tap that heel maybe, great option, or just arms. Reach up to those corners. Anytime we reach hands up overhead, that's really gonna shoot that heart rate up there, okay? Heel tap with a the reach. Then we got jump ropes. I've got a really fun piece of equipment. They're cordless jump ropes. I got them off of Amazon. This is a great option, seated or standing. I'm swinging the weights like a jump rope action. You can add in marches, hops, knee raises, that's up to you again, seated or standing. If I don't have this piece of equipment, no worries. I want you to pretend. So you're just gonna pretend like you're holding jump ropes and you're swinging those arms. We're here for 60 seconds. Those shoulders are gonna burn. Okay, then we got ice skaters or windmills. Okay, so we did windmills when we were warming up, but ice skaters are super fun. Great exercise for standing. So my legs are nice and wide. I'm going opposite hand to opposite knee. So I'm shifting my weight to the left as I tap my hand, right hand to my left knee, back to the center. So I'm shifting weight from side to side. This feels good in that inner thigh, a nice little stretch. Shifting weight from side to side, okay? Great option for standing. Seated option, I can do kind of a lift my foot and tap opposite hand to that opposite inner part of my foot. Or like that windmill we did with the warm up, tapping opposite hand to the opposite shin or ankle. That'll get your heart rate up there. All right. Then we got narrow to wide. So I'm just going wide, wide, narrow, narrow with my feet. 
okay? I can also just go with my arms, wide, wide with the arms, narrow, narrow, if lower body is not in our wheelhouse today. Standing option, wide, wide, narrow, narrow, with a nice little march. This is gonna work some coordination. It'll feel a little bit like an aerobics class if you've ever done step aerobics, okay? We're going to that narrow, narrow, wide, wide with those feet. You can also incorporate arms. Last one is forward, wide up. So essentially, I'm pushing my arms forward like I'm doing a push-up, pushing those arms wide like I'm pushing walls away, and up to the sky. Forward, wide, up. Putting that on repeat for 60 seconds, seated or standing, great for the brain. So if you're ready, we're gonna get started in 10 seconds, and we're gonna get this cardio going. You ready? 10 seconds, we'll get started. Starting with that heel tap, or sidestep with that rip, arm reach, or we're just reaching to those corners. Again, that seated option as well. You ready? Let's go. So I can sidestep and reach arms up. So this is gonna be like the most challenging option here. I can also just keep feet, you know, steady, twist and reach to the corners. Great option, still challenging my balance. If standing isn't an option for us, we can go here. Heel tap with that reach up to the corner with both arms. Yeah, notice that heart rate getting up there? Let's go. Or just arms. Woo! Less than 30 seconds, let's go. Reach. Add in that lower body if you can. Keep it up. I like the sidestep option. Good. Feels like a little bit like we're dancing. You got 10 more seconds. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Four, three, two, one. Woo, shake out those arms. Take nice big deep breaths in and out. This will help us recover and get ready for our next exercise, which is the jump rope. If you've got your jump ropes, grab them. If you don't, no worry. All right, you're gonna do seated or standing. You got five seconds to decide. Let's go in three, two, one. Jump ropes. So maybe I just swing the arms. Maybe I do a heel tap, maybe I do a knee raise. Lots of different options here. Good. This is why I love this piece of equipment, because I can do this seated or standing. I'm not gonna trip on my jump rope. If I'm doing the standing, I can always move forwards and backwards. That's gonna be a really challenging. If this works for you, awesome. If not, stay here. Maybe I march in place. Maybe I add in a knee raise. Maybe I add in a heel tap, or I can Jump, up to you. We got 30 seconds, let's go. Jump ropes, keep moving, let's go, let's go. Feel the arm burn? Yeah, so do I, let's go. Can you give me 10 seconds? Keep jump roping, let's go. Five, four, three, two, and one, rest. Moving on to those ice skaters or those windmills. Again, that seated option. Touching opposite hand to that opposite ankle. Sitting up nice and tall each time. Standing option. Shifting weight from side to side. Touching that opposite hand to that opposite knee. You decide which version works for you. In three, two, let's go. So I'm starting with the standing option. I'm pushing those hips to the left or to the right. Touching that opposite hand to the opposite knee. Good. I love this one, it feels good. It's like a little stretch, but still cardio. Arms are kind of wide, kind of look like an ice skater. Let's go. That seated option, we can do a hacky sack jack, touching the inside of that foot as I lift the foot. That's a great option, or that windmill. I love showing various options, because you know, every day is different. And challenge yourself, give it a try. If it doesn't work, do what works for you. Come on, we got 20 seconds left. Yeah, this hacky sack jack option is kind of fun. I'm kind of like internally rotating, lifting the foot, touching that toe. Kind of like when you're about to put your socks on or a shoe, lifting the foot. Let's go. Come on, less than 10 seconds. Hang on to it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. All right, next one, narrow to wide. So we got wide, wide, narrow, narrow with those feet, with the arms, with both. Seated option, again, wide, wide, narrow, narrow, walking those feet, wide and narrow or physically lifting. You ready? Let's go. Wide to narrow, keep it up. 
So in the seated position, I'm gonna just kind of pump my arms like I'm walking. And then my feet are going wide to narrow. Once you figure it out, see if you can speed it up if that works for you. Again, you can physically lift the legs to wide, back to narrow. Let's go. Is your heart rate up there? Are you starting to sweat? Yeah, me too, let's go. This standing option, maybe I'm hanging on to a countertop. Maybe I'm hanging on to a wall, a walker or a chair. Walking those feet wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Keep it up, 20 seconds to go. Again, maybe once you figure it out, you speed it up. The key to any of my workouts is to remain safe. So if speeding it up puts you at risk of falling, please, nice, slow, steady, steady pace is good. Five, four, three, two, and one, rest. Final exercise here, my favorite. A little bit of reaction, a little bit of coordination. We're going forward, wide, up as fast as we can. We're here for a minute. We got 10 seconds. Again, seated or standing. Again, we're pushing arms forward, wide, and up. You ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Forward, wide, and up. If you have to say it out loud to remind yourself what you're doing, go for it. Again, anytime we reach arms up overhead, you are getting that heart rate up there. This music speeds up. See if you can too. You ready? 40 seconds left. Come on. Yep. Have fun with it. Forward, wide, and up. Let's go. I'm adding in a little bit of a march. That challenges the coordination. So, let's go. Work those arms. Work that heart rate. Hang on to it. You got 10 seconds. Don't quit on me now. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom. Great job. We are moving on to our next set of exercises. All right, friends, here we go. This is what our format is going to look like. We're going to start off with strength. We have five exercises up on the screen, alternating between upper body and lower body. We are gonna work for 60 seconds. You're gonna rest for 20 and then move on to the next exercise. All right, so I'm gonna show you kind of what all these exercises look like real quick, and then we'll get started. Um, we're really gonna be working on muscular endurance. Uh, so working for kind of quite a bit of time, resting for a short period of time, it's gonna be good. Starting off, we got sit to stand. So you can either start standing, sit down, and stand up. We can always use a chair, a walker, a desk, a couch to help us get up if you need extra balance, okay? If standing isn't an option for you, you can also do leg extensions, lifting the toe, alternating right and left, squeezing in the quad, working that lower body, all right? So that is our first exercise. The next one is curls. You're gonna grab those weights, bicep curls, bring the weights up to the shoulders and lowering. I might kind of go from alternating right to left to then both weights, to maybe single, single, double. I'm gonna play around with it. The great thing about a lot of these exercises is you can do them seated or standing. So you can do those curls standing or seated. Both are great options. Then we've got a hinge to a reverse fly. So we're gonna be hinging forward, whether we're bringing our chest towards our thighs, seated or standing. And then we're gonna do a reverse fly. So my weights are down in front, opening up the arms nice and big, squeezing in the shoulder blades like you're flying away. Weights come back together and then we're sitting up nice and tall. Hinge, reverse fly, and sit up nice and tall, stand up nice and tall. Again, seated option. I'm bringing my chest towards my thighs. Open up those weights nice and wide, lower, and then sit up nice and tall, okay? We're working the back muscles, glutes, and hamstrings. Then we've got a chest press or a push-up. Now, chest press, I'm gonna be leaning back in my chair. Core is nice and tight, my weights are wide and I'm gonna press weights up over my chest and then lower them. Elbows come wide, exhale, press weights up over my chest and come back down. So again, I'm kind of like leaning back in my chair, working that chest. Now, if you've got a desk or a couch in front of you or maybe a countertop in your kitchen, something that is stable and will not move or a wall, you can also do good old push-ups, bringing your chest towards that couch countertop and then pushing away that for a minute will be challenging, but I love doing kitchen countertop push-ups. So if that's a good option for you, 
perfect. Or your other option is like a TheraBand. If you've got a TheraBand with you, you can also do good old chest press this way, pulling that TheraBand towards your chest and pushing away. So you decide what works for you, okay? And then that final one is a hamstring curl. So I'm curling my um, toe, pulling my toe underneath my chair, like so. Yep, pull the toe underneath the chair, just like so. Another option is maybe if pulling the toe underneath my chair doesn't work, if I've got like a desk chair or a wheelchair or a walker, you can also do good old push and pull. So my heels are out extended out in front of me. I'm gonna pull myself forward and push myself away. Great exercise for the hamstrings if we have limited mobility in our lower extremities, okay? So that's a really fun option if that works for you if you've got that desk chair, wheelchair. Now, your most challenging option is a standing hamstring curl. Again, hang onto a walker countertop and pulling the heel up to the booty, alternating. We're doing single leg stance, working our balance, but working that hamstring as we curl that heel up to our booty. Cool? And then that, that is our, that's the end of all of those things. So if you're ready, we're working for 60 seconds, resting for 20. Let's do this. We're starting in 10, okay? Whew, lots of information. You got this. So we're doing sit to stands or leg extensions. You decide what works for you. I'm gonna start off with sit to stands. Functional movement we do every day. Let's go. Stand up nice and tall, slowly lower. Booty comes back to the chair. Hinge, push through those heels and stand up nice and tall. Again, maybe I hang on to a walker. If I've got arms on my chair, I can push off. Nice. That seated option, you're just lifting the toe, alternating. Good. Squeeze in the quad as you lift that toe, alternating right, left, right, left. Both are great options. Still work in the lower body. Less than 30 seconds to go. Keep it up. You know, another great exercise for that lower body, standing and shifting weight. Standing is an exercise too. You're still working your lower body. So if that feels better for you, then do it. All right, let's go. 10 seconds to go. Hang on to it. Three, two, one, rest. Awesome job. Quick little rest here. We're gonna do those curls. We're working our biceps, so grab those weights. Um, again, this can be done seated or standing. We're gonna start with both weights coming up to those shoulders and down. Again, we're gonna exhale as we curl it up. Inhale as we come down in three, two, one, let's go. You can do this seated or standing, up to you. Exhale as you curl. Inhale as we lower. Nice. Again, seated option is a great option. Stand nice and tall, check in with that posture. Let's change it up to single curl. So up with the right, lower. Up with the left, lower. Good. We're changing it up, we're challenging that brain. Let's go. Less than 30 seconds. Good. Now I'm gonna challenge you. We're gonna go up with the right, then up with the left, then both. A little single, single, double action here. Single, curl, single, curl, double. Up with the right, up with the left, and both. One more of those, let's go. Single, single, double, and rest. Good. Next move is that hinge to reverse fly. I'm gonna lower my weights because these muscles aren't as strong. I can do this seated or standing, whatever feels better. Again, I'm hinging, bringing that chest towards my thighs. Weights are down by my side and then I'm gonna open up nice and wide, lower and sit up nice and tall. Let's go. Hinge, reverse fly, squeezing those shoulder blades like you're trying to fly away, sit up nice and tall. Hinge, reverse fly. You can have a slight bend in that elbow. Squeeze in those shoulder blades. Perfect. I'm gonna show you that standing option. So I'm hinging forward, back stays flat, open, and stand. Let's go. Bringing those legs out nice and wide, squeeze in those shoulder blades. Woo, feels good, less than 30 seconds. Making sure we squeeze in the glutes if we're standing. Yeah, 20 seconds, stay strong, and we're gonna work that chest, let's go. Keep moving, 
Stay strong, my friends. You got this. Three, two, one. Woo rest. We're moving into that chest press. You can either do the TheraBand option, you can do the weighted option as we lean back, or push-ups against your desk, wall, countertop, all right? Again, with that TheraBand, I'm pulling the band towards my chest and pushing away. I'm gonna do the seated option. Lean back in your chair. Weights are over my chest. Elbows come wide. Exhale as I press. If you've ever done like a bench press or seen that at a gym, essentially that's what we're doing here. Inhale, elbows come wide. Exhale, press weights up over the chest to extend those arms out. Nice. Keep it up. Keep going, keep going. For those of you who are doing that maybe desk or wall push-up, you're just gonna inhale, bring that nose towards whatever. Exhale, press away. Inhale, chest comes towards that couch, countertop, wall. Exhale, arms come to that extended position. Work in the chest. Let's go. You have 20 seconds. Finish strong. And just think, we got hamstring curls as our final exercise here for this strength. Let's go. 10 seconds. Keep breathing. Inhale, and then exhale, push away. Rest. Nice. Final strength exercise. Here are those hamstring curls, pulling that toe underneath the chair, or that standing option, curling, or you're pushing and pulling away with that chair, wheelchair, desk chair, or walker, okay? So I'm gonna find myself some balance. Let's go. And I'm curling that heel up to the booty. Again, we're making sure we're hanging on to something nice and sturdy. Obviously, if balance isn't a problem for you, you can always do this. You can always reach and pull those arms. Make it a little bit more of a fun cardio option. Good, keep going. That seated option, I'm just pulling that toe underneath my chair and bringing the foot back out in front. Curl that toe. Maybe we're dragging the toe underneath the chair. Good, less than 30 seconds to go, come on. Again, maybe I'm pulling with those arms as that toe comes underneath my chair. Yep, keep going. Or if you were the ones that are in the wheelie option, you're pushing and pulling away. Come on, we got 10 seconds. Push and pull. Pull through those heels. Let's go. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. All right. We are moving on to cardio. We just worked muscular endurance. Now we're gonna work cardiovascular endurance. Working our lungs, getting that heart rate up there. Grab a swig of water and let's go. All right, you kind of know the drill now. We got five exercises up on the screen. This time it's cardio. So we're gonna go jumping jacks, arms up overhead. Arms can come in front too for a seal jack. Seated option or standing option, whichever feels best to you. You can always tap the foot out to the side or just do those arms, okay? Then we got a march or a jog, or pumping those arms. Standing option, nice low impact. I'm just kind of bobbing those knees back and forth. Seated option, I can just pump my arms. I can also march, okay? Then we got mountain climbers or rope climbs. I'm just reaching and pulling, alternating the arms. Reaching up to the sky, right, left, right, left. Nice and quick. We got punches. We'll do a vari variation. Maybe we'll punch in front, up overhead, and then cherry pickers, they're my favorite. These ones are so great. So you're gonna hands come up to the sky, hands come to the hips, standing option, mini squat. Reach up to the sky, mini squat. So I'm just bending slightly and reach. So I'm not doing anything crazy where I'm bending my head over. You're gonna get dizzy. Chest stays high. I'm just dragging those hands along my thighs as I push those hips back. Seated option, which is my favorite kind of option. Hands to the sky, hands to the hips, Reach arms as far forward like you're reaching at the screen and back to that neutral position. Up to the sky, reach forward. Feels like a rowing machine. You can also touch the ankles if you want to do that. Cool? And those are our five cardio exercises. Work for 60 seconds, rest for 20. If you're ready, we're going to get started in five seconds. Get your mind right. We're starting with jacks, okay? Let's go, let's go. Let's get that heart rate going in three, two, one. Begin. Jumping jacks, arms up overhead. You can do a seal jack, arms come in front like you're clapping your hands, reaching those arms nice and wide. 
You can add in that heel tap. You can add in a knee raise. Lots of different options here. Anytime we get those arms up overhead, you got it. Gets that heart rate up there. Seated or standing, you decide. Seal jack, regular jumping jack, or you can do a combo of regular jack, seal jack. You got it. Woo, less than 30 seconds, let's go. I feel that heart rate up there. I feel it. Do you? Let's go. 15 seconds left. Then we're gonna move into a march or a jog. If you have space, you can also walk around in your space. Do some laps around your island at your kitchen. That's up to you. Three, two, one. Woo, rest. Check out those arms. So, seated option. Maybe I'm just marching in place. Maybe I'm just pumping the arms. Great option for that seated one. Standing, I can lift the feet and march. I can also just kind of bob those knees or I can walk around in my space. That's up to you. Let's go. Let's get started. We're here for one minute. Pump, pump, pump. Let's go. I can also go forwards and backwards. That's gonna work my proprioception. That's gonna be a challenging, a little bit more risky of a move. So make sure your face is clear, if that works for you. Again, like I said, or you can do some circles around that chair. Great option. Or you stay seated and march. Let's go. We got 30 seconds left. Good, another great option. I'm just pumping those arms. See if you can speed it up with those arms for that seated option. Again, use the lower body, include the lower body if you want, or don't. You got 15 seconds left and we're moving on to those mountain climbers. Channel that inner outdoorsy person, like you're climbing that rope, climbing that mountain. We're gonna get rest in three, two, one, rest. Big breath through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Those mountain climbers, I'm reaching right arm up and pulling, then left and pull. Almost like you're reaching for dollar bills up on the ceiling. It's always a good uh, way to kind of envision what we're doing. Seated or standing, check in with that posture. Three, two, one, let's go. Reach and pull. Like you're climbing up a rope or like you're climbing up a ladder or a mountain. Good. And we're just alternating, right, left, right, left. Good. Now, if you're doing this one standing, you can add in those hips. Make it fun. A little bit of a dance move. You got it. Or you can walk and add the arms. Nice. I'm telling you, no matter what your limitation, you can keep moving, and that is what I'm here for, helping you keep moving in whatever way works for you, for all levels of ability. 20 seconds left. And I'm doing it with you. So I feel the burn. I get it. Woo! Good, if you're getting tired, take a seat. You got 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Woo, all right, friends, two more exercises. We're doing punches. I always like to incorporate some sort of kickboxing because life's hard. We're gonna take it out in a healthy way right here, right now. We're just gonna punch in front. I may have us do jabs across the body. I may have us go up. I may have us go single, single, double punch. Let's go. You ready? Begin. Punch, punch. Straight in front. Envision someone having some gloves or a punching bag in front of you. Extend that arm all the way out. Nice. Seated or standing, you decide. This time I'm adding a little bit more of a twist in my spine as I punch across the body. Good. Let's go high. I'm punching right arm to that left corner, then left arm up to the right corner. Good. Extend that arm all the way up, crossing over the midline, midline of that brain. Working the brain, working the body. Let's go for a single, single double punch now. So I'm gonna go single, single, double punch. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. And last bit, five seconds of speed back. Three, whoo, two, and one. Rest. Y'all, this is our final exercise. Cherry pickers, hands to the sky, hands to the hips, 
reach it forward or reach it down to the ankles or that standing option. One minute of work left. Are you ready? In five, four, three, two, begin. Hands to the sky, hands to those hips. If you're seated, you're reaching forward or down to those ankles. I like this reaching forward option. Good. Reach far forward and then reach it up to the sky. Standing option, tiny little squat. I'm just dragging those hands down to the knees, pushing those hips back and reaching it back up to the sky. Obviously, if you want, you can speed it up. You have 30 seconds left. Keep it up, keep it up. Woo can you finish strong? I know you can. You got 20 seconds left. We can do anything for 20 seconds. I want you to keep moving, even if it's nice and slow. Reaching those hands up to the sky. Come on, 10 left. Stay strong. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, ha, ha. Boom. You did it. Grab a swig of water. We are moving on to our next set of exercises. All right, friends, you have done some strength. You have done some cardio. Now it is time to work our core. This time we're doing a little bit of a different format. We're doing a Tabata format where we work for 20 seconds, we rest for 10. There are eight rounds in each Tabata. You're gonna see four exercises up on the screen. We're gonna do each exercise twice through before we move on to the next one, okay? So, starfish, my feet are together. I'm gonna bend down, touch those shins or ankle, and then I'm gonna lean back, Big arms come up like you're doing a YMCA, and then I'm gonna crunch forward, touch those ankles. Good old starfish, you can also incorporate legs, okay? Twice through with those starfish. Then, we're gonna sit back, touch those shoulder blades to the back of our chair. We're gonna exhale forward, punch, punch. All right, twice through with that one. Then we've got a twist. This is where I want you to grab a weight, and we're gonna just twist right to left, holding the weight. If you wanna make it more challenging, lean back slightly and bring the weight to that hip. Again, we're working for 20 seconds on, resting for 10. Twice through. Final one is a weighted sit-up. I'm gonna hold that weight to my chest, and I'm gonna lean back, touch those shoulder blades to the back of my chair, exhale, elbows to those knees, and lean back, all right? So drop that weight. When the whistle blows, we're starting with those starfish. You ready? Let's do this. 20 seconds of work. So I'm gonna hinge forward, touch those ankles, work. lean back Round slightly, big one. Y. Exhale forward. I like to incorporate lower body. Good, open, nice, big, exhale forward. Lean back, arms come big, Y, exhale forward. Nice. Use that breath and rest. We got 10 seconds of rest, we're gonna do that one more time. Really use that breath as those arms are big, exhale, crunching forward that chest towards those thighs, okay? I'm gonna start in this kind of crunched over position. Inhale, open, nice and big, exhale, crunch forward. You're here for 20 seconds. We're gonna do a little bit more, you know, cardio, a little bit of core with that sit up to two punches. Good, almost there. Good, rest. 10 seconds rest. We're moving on to that sit up with two punches. So I'm just gonna lean back slightly, touch those shoulder blades to the back of my chair. We'll start here. Exhale, crunch forward, add in a punch, punch, lean it back. Touch those shoulder blades, exhale forward. Punch, punch. Great way to channel that anger energy, whatever's stressing you out, we're taking out right here. Good. Sit up, punch, punch. Almost done. Good, quick rest, 10 rest. seconds rest. One more time of those. Super fun, so fun, you can do core from a chair. Awesome, awesome. When that whistle blows, let's go. Work. Round four. Round number four, you're already halfway there. That's right. Let's go. Almost finished. In this next rest, I want you to grab that weight because we're moving on to twist. Come on. Good. All right, grab that weight. So you can either pretend like you're passing food at the table. So I'm just holding my weight out, twisting to the right, then twisting to the left. If you want to make it more challenging, lean back and twist, touching that weight to the hip. So this one might challenge that lower back. If this hurts your lower back, just sit nice and tall. Twist from right to left. Keep it up. Keep breathing. 
core is nice and strong. Woo, rest. We can do that one more time. Good. Obviously, the further out you hold that weight, the more challenging it will be. So give it a try. New feet, like, Work. really close to Round my body. Six. That's going to be sort of the easiest. Out in front it might be more challenging. <laughs> Let's go. Core strong. Twist to the right. Twist to the left. Hang on to it. Almost finished. Quick rest. All right, final one. Weighted sit up. So weights at our chest, and we're just leaning back, shoulder blades to the back of the chair. Exhale through the mouth as you bring those elbows to the knees. Let's go. Round seven. Now, if you want a challenge, you're welcome to join me. I'm going to work through the 10 second rest. If you need that rest, use it. Or if you want to stick with this fun little challenge, then you're going to work through this next whistle. Listen to your body. If you need 10 seconds rest, take rest. it. If you don't, stick with me. You have one more round of 20 seconds of weighted sit-ups if you're resting. All right, let's go. Round eight. Round number eight, final 20 seconds, friends. Then we are stretching it out. You got this. You've worked hard. You've worked that full body. Inhale back, exhale forward. And that weight comes to the floor. Rest. You did it. Oh, show those muscles. Grab a swig of water and let's stretch it out. Oh, friends, you did it. You've worked that full body. Strength, cardio, core. Super proud of you. Our heart rate may be up there a little bit, so we're just going to do a couple of rounds of square breathing. Kind of slow our heart rate down before we stretch it out. So find yourself to that comfortable position. Sitting up kind of tall. I want you to breathe in through your nose for four counts. So inhale for four, three, two, one. Exhale through the mouth for four, three, two, one. We're gonna put that on repeat at your own pace, filling up those lungs nice and big, and then exhaling through the mouth. Noticing that heart rate coming down, slowing our bodies. And as we're breathing, I just want us to take time to just appreciate our bodies and the way they've moved and breathed for us today, how strong our arms and our legs and our hands and our feet have been. Good. This time we're going to inhale, reach those arms up overhead into extended mountain pose, palms together. Reach up to the ceiling. And then exhale, reaching those arms back behind. Maybe you clasp your hands together or grab the back of your chair, opening up the chest nice and big. And I want you to stay here and take a couple big deep breaths in here. And as we stretch, I just want us to kind of check back in with our bodies. At the beginning of this workout, I asked you to like check in with your mood or your fatigue or your pain. Are we feeling better? Has our mood shifted? Maybe we just were able to escape life for just a little bit and just focus on ourselves and move our bodies. So hopefully you're feeling a little bit better. As we breathe in this time, and exhale, reach those arms forward like you're hugging a tree and getting a nice stretch in the back of those shoulder blades. Couple big breaths in and out here. Getting all that oxygen back to those muscles that have worked so hard for us today. Big breath in and exhale, shake out the arms. Good. This time we're gonna go into what I like to call warrior one. So we're gonna inhale arms up overhead, palms face each other, but they're not touching. And then we're gonna exhale into warrior two. So I'm gonna reach those arms wide like I'm pushing the walls away, pulling my fingertips up to the sky, getting a nice stretch in those forearms. And as I exhale, I'm gonna bring one arm across my chest and hug that arm to my chest as I rotate in my wrist. Good. Getting a nice stretch down the back of the arm. Feels good. Big breath in and exhale, shake out the arms. We'll do that one more time, but the other side. Inhale into that warrior one, reaching up to the ceiling, palms face each other. Exhale, push those walls away. And then bring the other arm across the chest, rotate in the wrist. So we should be stretching that other arm that we haven't stretched yet. Big breath in, exhale, shake out the arms. Nice, we're gonna do like a little bit of a spinal twist as we breathe in. 
I just want you to twist those shoulders to the right or the left. I place my opposite hand on the outside of that thigh. Nice little spinal twist, looking over that shoulder or at that wall. Breathe in. And as we exhale, we're twisting our body to the other side. Good. Big breath in. Exhale, come back to center. Let's stretch up the lower body. Grab underneath the knee. So I'm going to grab underneath my right knee, and I'm pulling that knee up towards my chest, rotating the ankle, point and flexing the toe, doing some ankle circles, holding a little bit longer this time. Again, we did this in our warm-up, but now that our muscles are nice and warm, we can hold these stretches a little longer. Good. Breathe in, hug that knee up towards your chest. And as I exhale, I'm lengthening that leg long, and I'm putting my heel into the ground, my toes pointed up, and then I'm going to reach that hand towards the toe. So getting a nice hamstring stretch. Maybe I can reach my shin, my ankle, or my toes, whatever feels good to you, and then use these nice big deep breaths to see if we can maybe sink a little deeper into that stretch. Good. One more big breath in and out. Then I'm gonna grab underneath that, that knee and I'm gonna sit up nice and tall and place the ankle on top of my other thigh. So this time I'm making like a figure four or an L and then I'm gonna kind of hinge forward, bringing my chest towards that bent leg, getting in a nice stretch here. So play around with the angle. If you have any injuries or prior surgeries, like don't do anything that's gonna hurt you, but you should feel a nice stretch in the hips, glutes, inner thigh. Maybe how, depending on how you're twisting or put, putting pressure on places. Feels good. One more big breath in and out here. Pull that knee up, placing the ankle on the ground, other side. Grab underneath that knee, pull the knee up towards your chest, rotate in the ankle, point and flex the toe. Good. Big breath in, hug that knee. Exhale, lengthen that leg long, heels in the ground, toes pointed up, and reach a nice stretch in that hamstring. Friends, you should just be so, so proud of yourselves. Thank you for moving with me. If you've not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, click that follow button so you don't miss a workout. Grab a workout buddy and do this again. Awesome. Grab underneath that knee, placing that ankle on top of your thigh. Hinge it forward. So fun to work out with you. Share this, you know. My goal is to help all levels of ability move in whatever way works for them, and I hope you enjoyed this workout, so make sure you like it. Make sure you, you know, comment below that you did this. All those fun things. All right, pull that knee up. Place the ankle on, or the foot back onto the floor. One more big breath in up overhead. Exhale it out. Show those muscles, because you are stronger than whatever you are walking through today. Thanks so much for joining me, and make sure to come back to another Keep Moving with Emily.